Hello food lovers from around the world and welcome to today's project which will be preserving fresh tomatoes from the garden by dicing and canning them. We'll also add a twist that will make them even better and more flavorful. Lots of people are apprehensive when it comes to canning but I try to make the whole process as easy as possible while also making sure we have a great result. These tomatoes will be shelf stable for years and will taste and look just as great as day one. So let's get to work. After washing our ripe tomatoes, we cut them in half and then core them. We slice them in thick slices if necessary and then dice them. We also make sure to remove any cracks or spoiled areas in the process. The cubes have to be reasonable size so they won't break down completely while sterilizing the jars. If you don't grow your own tomatoes, I encourage you to go to the farmer's market and find a deal on them, bring home a few pounds and start canning them. That's the best way to practice before planting a garden yourself. And if you go towards the end of the farmer's market, you may be able to negotiate a great price for a few crates of tomatoes that don't look great anymore. But that doesn't mean they're not flavorful or just perfect for canning. The vendors will be happy to sell them at a discounted price so they won't have to go back with them at home and let them spoil until the next week's farmer's market day. We keep on dicing until we finish them all. This is not an exact recipe so you can make as little or as much as you want to. Or as much space as you'll have in your pantry. I like to do all the canning in the summer when I have fresh produce so that we can enjoy them later on in the winter. After we've diced all of our tomatoes, we are ready to get our washed cold jars. In each of them we will put a spring or two of fresh oregano. Now we top with the diced tomatoes making sure we push down well and there are as little gaps as possible. This is how the jar should look like once it's filled. After we will water can them, they will soften and decrease in volume quite a bit while also releasing their natural juices. So we want the jars to be well packed and that way we won't end up with a half empty one. If you guys find value in my recipes and would like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever canned tomatoes or canned anything else and what did you think about the process? Was it easy? Was it hard for you? Would you do it again? I read each and every comment and I try to reply to everyone, so don't hesitate to communicate with me that way. Since we don't add any water or liquid, these tomatoes will be packed with flavor. When all the jars are filled, we add a couple of fresh basil leaves to each one and then a couple of peeled garlic cloves. This is the twist I was telling you about. The herbs will infuse the tomatoes with their aromas and then they can be turned into a pasta or a pizza sauce in no time by just blending the contents. Isn't that amazing? They're so versatile. Of course you can skip the basil, oregano and garlic all together and just leave them plain. There's nothing wrong with that. I had some plain ones from the last year so I decided to make these ones with a nice aroma. And also because I had plenty of basil, garlic and oregano in the garden. 
Lastly, we add half a teaspoon of salt to each pint jar. The salt is optional or you can decrease the quantity if you're watching your sodium. We wipe the rims with a paper towel so that we make sure there is nothing left on them or the jars won't seal properly. We put on the lids and then the bands. Don't over tighten the bands, just finger tight. The air needs to be able to escape while sterilizing the jars to create that vacuum. Time for that. We put the jars in our water bath canner filled with room temperature water since our jars are also cold. We always want the water and them to have the same temperature, otherwise the jars may crack. I'll also be using my pressure canning pot as a water bath one so I don't have to go through the process two times. We need to make sure that the water is at least 2 inches above the jars. Then we cover the pots and turn the heat on to high. Once the water starts boiling, we put the timer on for 60 minutes. When the timer goes off, we remove the lids and transfer the jars to cooling racks. We need to allow them to cool overnight undisturbed so they can seal properly. The next day, we can remove their bands, label and store them. I encourage you to remove the band so that you can see if a jar unseals by any chance and then you can discard it. If the bands are on, you won't be able to tell. And that's it! Now we have our own canned diced tomatoes in their juice infused with basil, oregano and garlic. Look at those vibrant colors and all that liquid. My favorite part is arranging them on my pantry shelves. It gives me such a satisfaction seeing them all aligned and waiting to be enjoyed. What's your favorite part of the canning process? And just to show you how well they look even after a while, here is a jar from last year still looking great. I used the red and yellow tomatoes and no herbs for these ones. Now that you know how easy it is to can your own produce, go out there, Pick your tomatoes or buy them and start canning. No more excuses. Let me know in the comments below if you've made them and how they turned out. I'll see you again soon. Bye!